this is himavinda from the department of csit and today in this video i would like to explain about the topic called context free grammars and context free languages so in previous videos we already discussed about the type three languages what is what is about the type three languages nothing but regular languages so now we will discuss about the type two language which is called as context free language so what is meant by context free language so context free language is a language which is generated by the context free grammar so in previous uh, topics we discussed about the language regular language which is uh, generated by the regular grammar like this here also the context free language which is generated by the context free grammar so that is nothing but it is a type 2 grammar and according to the chomsky classification this context free grammar grammars or context free languages which is belongs to the type 2 language and get accepted by the push down automata and here we will discuss about the what is mean by chomsky uh, hierarchy so here we already discussed about this let me briefly explain this one so here we coming to the classification of chomsky hierarchy so first type 3 language so type 3 so type 3 language which is nothing but regular grammar regular language so type 3 is nothing but regular and type 2 which we are already discussing about this type 2 is nothing but context free grammar so context free languages so we will write it as a type 2 so it is a context free language so here the what is meant by con uh, this context free language is nothing but so this regular language which is a subset of context free languages and one more type one language so type one is about context sensitive context sensitive language so we will write context sensitive language so type one is nothing but context sensitive language and type zero which is recursive recursively enumerable language recursive enumerable language so here so we are having the four types of grammar so in that one type 2 is type type 2 is context free context free language c f g context free grammar context free languages and type 1 type 3 is nothing but regular language so regular grammar so here we will see with this diagram we can say that the regular languages or regular grammar which is a subset of cfg so which is a subset of context free languages so here the set of regular language is a subset of context free languages so here we can say this statement is about the set of regular language which is a subset of context free languages all regular languages are context free languages so with this statement so all cfg so context free languages are regular but so all context free languages are regular but all regular languages are not c f g c f n so this is the statement we have to observe so it is a regular languages which is a subset of context free languages so with this statement we can say that the uh, all the regular language all the uh, context free languages which are belongs to the regular language but all the regular languages which are not belong to the regular context free language 
and we will move to the next slide. So, context free grammar. So, what is meant by context free grammar? So, in previous videos, we discussed about the regular grammar. So, regular grammar which is having the four tuple, like this here also in the context free grammar, we have a four tuple. So, let me see this. What is the four tuple? And the context free grammar is a formal grammar which is used to generate all the possible strings given in a formal language. So, here with this grammar, context-free grammar, we can form all the possible strings from given in a formal language. And here, what are the four tuples? So, what are the four tuples? So, V, G is represented as a grammar and T is a terminal, so which are belongs to the infinite automata. So, infinite automata, T is nothing but which is belongs to a term sigma. Sigma is nothing but it is a Input alphabets. Input alphabets. So, input alphabets like this. And here in the grammar, this is noted, denoted with small letters. And V is nothing but which is a non terminal symbol which are in capital letters. capital letters and which are equal to in finite automata we will say that so v is belongs to a q it is a subset it is a finite set of states and p is nothing but the production rules so these production rules how to form a production rules we already discussed in the previous videos in the regular grammar and the construction of regular languages and s is a stat symbol so, these are the four tuple which are belongs to the context-free grammar. So, the context-free grammar which is having the four tuple. So, in that one, T is a terminal which are belongs to the alphabets which are input symbols for the given language. And the V is nothing but non-terminal set. So, non-terminals are nothing but it is a finite set of states involved in the finite automata. And P is nothing but it is a production rules with the form or with the terminal and non-terminal combinations we will form a production rules and with that for production rules we will form a strings and here S is the start symbol. So, this is about the context free grammar and let me explain in more about this grammar with the examples. So, here, here is the example for generating a language that generates equal number of A's and equal number of B's. So, equal number of A's and B's. So, in the form of A power N and B power N. So, the context to free grammar is denoted by four tuple in that one. So, this is nothing but V which is a non-terminal and this one is a T. So, capital small letters which are denoted with the small letters and those are the terminal symbols which are involved in the string form and these are the production rules so here what are the production rules involved in this one and s is the start state we have to mention the s also start state so why because the production rule is starting with the s so these are the four tuple notation for the context free grammar given for the a power n the language which is belongs to a power n and b power so, here, here is the example of language which is having a power n and b power n. So, in that one, so a comma b whole star. So, here with this uh, language, let first how to write this uh, language elaboration we will see. So, here the language a power n, b power n. So, suppose take n is equal to from 0 to 1, 2, 3 and so on we can write whenever we specify a power a comma b whole star. So, why because the whole star representation which is belongs to the which is included in the whole star in the sense epsilon also included. So, epsilon a b a b b a a a a a b b and like that and so on. So, here with this one, we can say that n is, we will take n is equal to 1. So, here a power n, b power n. So, a power n, epsilon comma. a power n, b power n in the sense, a n is equal to 1, b, b power n is equal to 1. 
So, and if you take n is equal to 2, a power 2, b power 2. And n is equal to 3. So, a power 3, b power 3. Here is the elaboration of the language. And with this, we will form the language strings. A, B, A, A, B, B, A, 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 B, B, B and so on. So, this is the language which is formed for the A power N and B power N. So, with this uh, language, we have the production rules for this context-free grammar in the sense. What are the production rules? So, production rules are which is starting with the say is S tends to A, capital A, B. And what are the another production? So, A, A, capital A, B and epsilon. So, these are the production rules. So, with this we can, with this production rules, we can form this type of strings. So, how to form or how to elaborate this string from this production rules, we will define. So, we will start with the straight S and we will take the first production rule A comma A th S tends to A B. So why because? So it is A is followed by B. So A power N is followed by B power N. And here to, to get this kind of string we will write S tends to. So how many A's required here? 3 A's and 3 B's are required. So here we, we have another production rule. So A tends to A capital A B. We will write this instead of A. So we will replace this with uh, this equation. That is nothing but A. And we will substitute this A tends to. So the bracket is not included but to differentiate I am writing. So, here S tends to A, 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 B, B. And one more, how many A's are required here? Three A's. So, here one time, another time we have to include this equation A tends to A. So, here A, 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 capital A, B, B and B. So, and A tends to one more production rule is there. That is nothing but A tends to epsilon. So, here A tends to epsilon, we have to substitute. So, S tends to, A tends to epsilon, we will include A, A, A and epsilon symbol we are including and B, B, B. So, after the equation, we finally we will get the string. So, this which is belongs to the language which is A, a power N and B power N. So, this is how we are elaborating the string from the production rule. So, here is the example which is a power n is followed by b power n and here what are the terminals and non-terminals which are involved in this grammar and what are the production rules and with that production rules how to form a strings and is that string is belongs to the language we will check according to the grammar. So, this is about this first example and next example. So, construct a context-free grammar for the language having any number of A's over the set of A. So, any number of A's in a sense. So, here any number of A's. So, there is a no limitation only having. So, let me write this language A. L is equal to. So, input symbol only one input symbol is there. So, we will write A star. So, which is A star. So, A star is nothing but. So, which is the language which belongs to the epsilon, empty symbol also included, A, 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 B, A, triple A, four A's and so on. So, this is the language elaboration. So, for this one, we have to construct a context-free grammar. So, what is the four tuple for the context-free grammar in the sense? So, Z is equal to we have on. V, a T, non-terminal, terminal, start state and production rule. So, these are the four tuple. So, for this one four tuple, so we have that V is equal to, we will take only one state that is S. And next one terminal, so only I will input, uh, inputs are only 
a single terminal is there and the start state is s and the production rules we have to write the production rules so here so a a next followed by a a s so every time after a a again a is repeated for this one we will write the production rule S tends to why because S is the start state start symbol we are including so and A S so this is the terminal which is a uh, production rule which is for the A star and S tends to again epsilon so why because in the uh, formation of production rules and we will form with that production rule we will form the strings in that string we, if you substitute the s tends to epsilon so s is not there is a no non terminal in the uh, string string form so that's why we are writing s tends to epsilon also so this is the production rule so with this production rule we will form with the string we will check this string input string this is the input string which is the belongs to the a star so we will check for this one so for checking the input string we have to substitute the all the production rules and a tends to we are starting with the a tends to in, input sim, uh, initial state a tends to a s and for this one we will substitute instead s tends to a s we will write a s and again how many a's are required here so four a's are required so we need to substitute that value to the four times so a a a s so we are substituting a tends to a s a a a a s and here we already got the input string and if you place this start state to in uh, epsilon symbol then we will get the string so this is the string so after removing this epsilon we got the input string so which is belongs to the language a star so this is about the a star so here we have to construct a context free grammar for the given language so the language which having the only input symbol a and uh, having any number of a's over the set so here any number of a's we are saying that so it is also included empty symbol so how many times of a is there according to that input string these that with that input string which is this production rules the what we form the production rules which are belongs to the input string or not we have to check with the this form and this is the example 2 and example 3 so here we have taken the language w c w reverse so in this one how many input symbols are there so a comma b two input symbols are there so here w is nothing but the word which is formed with the two input symbol so we will write this w is equal to suppose we have in that one we have so a comma b whole star so whole star represent empty symbol also and the w which is nothing but epsilon plus a b so the w belongs to a comma b so either it is only having a or only having b or a b combination or b a combination so and so on so there is a no limitation of only it starts with a or end with b like that so it is the uh, the word which is having the the word which is having the strings with the a and b input symbols and here the whole star representation which is nothing but empty symbol also included so here is the word so in uh, and how to form a reverse of this word in the sense so epsilon is a, a same a is a b a b are the same and if you take the input string of w a b what is the reverse of a b is nothing but b a and here b a is reverse a b like this we have to write the word so w w reverse and in between we have to form the w c c is included and w r 
So C is the additional uh, symbol we can add for the two strings. So two strings we have, the one is a string and the reverse string. So here which is in between the string and reverse string in between C is the uh, one more symbol is there. We have to write. So for this kind of language, how to elaborate this language? So L is equal to. So here C is uh, every time there. So W, if you take W is equal to A. So epsilon is every time there. And W is equal to A. So here we will write this one. W is equal to A. And we have to write the C input symbol, this symbol. And W reverse of A string, A. And if you take B, so one more B. So B and C is there and B reverse is B. And A, B, if you take A, B and C is there and what is the A, B reverse? B, A. And A, B, B, C is there and what is the reverse of this one? B, B, A and so on. So like this, if there is a language, this kind of language, so we have to elaborate first. So and here we have to write the production rules. And before that, what is the context of free grammar for this one? So context of free grammar, first write the context of free grammar. And after that, we are forming the production rules. With that production rules, we will check with the one input string. So if you we take one input string and we will check with that production rules, whether this language belongs to this context of free grammar or not. And here, so what is the production rule? So J, Z is equal to, so V, T, P and S. So these are the four tuple. So four, tu four tuple, so G is nothing but context free grammar and V is equal to, here we are having the states that is our uh, assumption. So what are the non-terminals? So here already there A, B input symbols are there. So here, let me write first A, B input symbol. What are the input symbols? And here we will take S and non-terminal and T, T already A, B and production rules we have to write. So here with this, we can say that the language. So S tends to epsilon is a, every time we have to write and A, C, C. So for this one, A. S. So we will write instead of C, we will write S. And here also we will write S tends to C. We will substitute instead of if you write in this production. So C may get confused. So here we have to write the non-terminals and terminals are non-terminal combination. So first write the non-terminal and non-terminal belongs to one symbol. We will write that. And here and also we have to include the first epsilon also s tends to epsilon and here s tends to have one more b c a b so b s instead of s we will write b so this is also when we substitute s tends to c so this will get we will get the input so and here uh, this is about this production rules and this is the start state. This is equal to start state. So these are the four tuple we got for this language and we'll check this production rules. Uh, we will take one input string and we will check with the production rules whether this uh, string is belongs to this language or uh, what is the coming uh, input string after the substitution of all the production rules we will get the exact language in string or not. We will check it. So to check for this one, we have to write the input string. What is the input string here? So we will take this input string. So this is the input string. So what is the input string? A, B, B, C, B, B, A. So this is the input string. And for to check for this input string, first to start with the production rule S. So here we already have A, S, A. So with this, uh, we substitute the values A, B. Next B is there. So we already have A. Next input string is B. 
So, is there any production with the right hand side? It is having the B terminal. So, here will I will check. Here the B, this is the thing we have to write. So, instead of S tends to, we have to substitute the value this one. So, B S B. So, here we will substitute instead of this A, B S B A. So, A is left. And here one more input symbol B is there. And here we have to check here the production right hand side of the production rule which is having the B terminal. So here again we have to substitute one more time this production rule. So S tends to A, B. So B, S, B, B, A. And here we already got the input string and but we have to place this C instead of S. So is there a production rule? So here we will substitute this production rule S tends to C. So after substituting this one, what we will get the exact input string what we are searching for. So this is the input string what which is belongs to the language W. W C W reverse. So this is how we have to elaborate the language and after that we have to take one input string and we'll check with the production rules whether this language forming with this production rules or not. So this is about the context free languages and context free grammar examples. So these are the references we have taken these examples. And this is about the context-free language, uh, context-free grammars. And in next coming video, we will discuss about more examples, how to form a context-free grammar for the given language. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.